Marty Schottenheimer, who won 200 regular season games as an NFL head coach, the eighth highest total in league history, and took teams to the playoffs in 13 of his 21 seasons but never made it to the Super Bowl, died on Monday in Charlotte, NC he was 77. The cause was Alzheimer's disease, said Bob Moore, a spokesman for the family. Schottenheimer died at a hospice facility near his home in Charlotte after being in its care since January 30. He was first given a diagnosis of Alzheimer's in 2014. Coaching four franchises with an often headstrong manner, Schottenheimer gained acclaim for turning around floundering teams, often emphasizing a power-running offense known as Marty Ball. At first, the tag was emblematic of his winning ways, at least in the regular season. But as the years passed, and Schottenheimer's teams reached a conference final only three times and then lost all three games on that final rung toward the Super Bowl, Marty Ball became a term of derision, branding his offense as too conservative. Schottenheimer coached the original Cleveland Browns from midway through the 1984 season to 1988, the Kansas City Chiefs from 1989 to 1998, the Washington Redskins in 2001, the team dropped that name last July, and the San Diego Chargers from 2002 to 2006. His teams went 200-1-2-6-1 overall, and he was named the 2004 N Coach of the Year by the Associated Press when his Chargers went 12-4 after finishing the previous season at 4-12. But they were upset by the Jets in the first round of the playoffs. Schottenheimer's squads had a 5-13 record in playoff games. In the run-up to the Chargers-Jets playoff game, Lee Jenkins of the New York Times, reflecting on Schottenheimer's intensity, wrote how, anyone who watches Schottenheimer standing on the sideline Saturday night against the Jets, arms crossed and feet shoulder-width apart, will recognize him as that angry professor from Kansas City and Cleveland. He still wears his gold spectacles, Jenkins wrote, and sets his square jaw and roars his favorite football platitudes in a hoarse baritone that makes him sound as if he has been screaming for three and a half quarters. Hugh Jackson, an assistant to Schottenheimer with the Redskins and a future head coach of the Oakland Raiders and the second Cleveland Browns franchise, was struck by Schottenheimer's football smarts coupled with an insistence on control. My time with him, I watched one of the most passionate football coaches I had ever been around, Jackson told ESPN in 2016. I know everybody has the stories about Marty crying. He taught me a ton about the running game, being tough, just what it meant to be a part of a team, Jackson recalled, adding, Marty does not back down from anybody. Martin Edward Schottenheimer was born on September 23, 1943, in Cannonsburg, PA near Pittsburgh, and grew up in nearby McDonald, a coal town, where his grandfather Frank, a German immigrant, had worked in the mines.